Okay, I'm just going to film a little bit more on this, see if this angle is a little bit better for showing you how the boucle works. This single is stabilizing the loops. It's going around the loops. This is not the angle I would normally hold it at, but it's, it, it's, it's doable. Normally, I hold it over here, and that's probably a bit better angle for me, but for you, heck, I like you. <laughs> Let's just go ahead with what, you, what would work best for you. Um, okay, so there we go. I could fidget with these loops here if I want. You bet. Oh, you know what? Ooh, this is everybody's nemesis here. See what happened? When I stopped and I was talking, the bobbin, um, I went the wrong way for a second because I'm now going counterclockwise and I was, um, started to go, um, clockwise because, yeah, because that's the way we usually do our singles and it's very habitual. So let's see if I can untangle it without taking the whole bobbin off. Ooh, ooh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yay! Yay! Are you happy for me? Oh, I'm happy for me. There you go. That's all pain. Have you ever done that with like 100 yards of singles? I end up just cutting it off because I enjoy spinning, so it's not, I, there's no way I want to do that. Okay, let's see. Am I at the right angle? Where did that come from? That's the high chair there. This is on a high chair on a piece of Play Doh. <laughs> Okay, let's go back and pull that on. Pull it on, pull it on fast enough that it doesn't get a whole bunch more twist. And here I am, back to my single. Woo! I'm sorry, you fell. Okay, there's um, there's my thread got a little bit um, overzealous when I was trying to fix that bobbin. So here I'm untangling. Uh, my single, you, you probably missed that whole thing. It was fantastic. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Back to plying the single and making those loops come out. So if you hold it and make the twist come out a little bit, you know how twist lessens when you um, go the opposite direction? Well, that's what's doing. Going the opposite direction, that's loops, loosening up these um, loops, and then I go ahead and let this my single cormo catch it up. Here's a bunch of loops. Let's see if I can get that to part that is. I think the hook I'm on is causing it to vibrate a lot more than what is good for filming. So I'll stop a second here, and there you go. See that? Cute, cute, cute. In front of my shirt, is that better? How do y'all do your filming where you don't get glare? Sunlight. Sunlight? Or professional light? Not a camera on top of a high chair and a piece of Play-Doh? <laughs> Anyways, my goal is to teach, not to become a photographer. Although that would be cool too. Okay, so here I go. Back to catching those loopies and curlies that I made with this... Um, other single of Cormo now. Um, I don't know if you'll see this video, but I was explaining in the other attempt. Um, I pity people that don't know what I'm doing on YouTube because certainly um, it doesn't seem very informative to them. Um, this is not, this is a typical boucle method. It is not typical boucle. Blah, that's hard to say because a typical blue clay is oh say that ten times fast a typical blue clay look at that how fantastic is that um, gnarly little bunch I actually I really like that kind of thing a typical blue clay is lacy it is not thick and wooly like this this is this is I don't know how many I don't know blah, blah, blah. Four wraps per inch, some places more, but or more wraps per inch. But this is a woolly, cute, adorable thing that a trim around 
a hat would be adorable without it having the uh, itchiness that mohair sometimes can. Kid mohair is very silky, but some people can't wear any kind of mohair because just the nature of the critter. Um, higher micron count than the cormo, but higher microns is what um, always allows you to have a shiny fabric too, or a fiber. So if I want my cormo to be shiny, I'll usually add some silk. I don't add mohair. I have fun playing with mohair and spinning locks because it's cute. With me, because I have a lot of um, grandchildren and, and babies around me, if I do something with locks, generally it'll be like the, the bottom portion of a scarf, the part that doesn't hit your neck, or tassels on a hat um, that doesn't hit your neck or skin, just because that's who I am. I had shingles once. Has anybody of you had shingles? Ah! And ever since then, my skin's just been a lot more sensitive. I don't think it's psychological. I think it is a problem because it's an uh, illness that affects the nerves, skin, so... Anywho, so yeah, so this is what I'm doing, and you know, because I'm looking at my hand, I don't know how often I've moved out the camera, sorry about that, but if you're spinning, you can, um, you have something to listen to, um, there you go, so that's how I'm spinning the boucle, I'm taking these loops, okay, let's see if I can do this, taking the... I think where it gets clearest. How is that clear? Okay, I'm taking the, here, let's see if I can separate. I'm taping these loops here, there, like that, and I'm trying as much as possible, or as much as I'm disciplined to, catch this single in between the loops. By no means should you be ex expecting yourself to catch it between every single loop. Um, it would be probably prize winning yarn. I mean it'd be crazy even but it would also be fairly commercial looking I think. I don't know. You know everybody's different. Everybody likes different things. Some people like that. I went for years wanting to spin an even single. Got that mastered and then felt um, less of a human being because <laughs> I wasn't into the novelty fibers. No, I was not less of a human being. But um, anyways, do what you like to do. It's supposed to be fun. If you would need a sweater or yarn and it's not fun, go to the yarn store or Walmart or Target or Macy's or whatever and, and, and buy one if you don't enjoy making it. But if you enjoy making it, make sure you enjoy it because... Um, yeah, unless, unless I'm talking to somebody in a third world country on their computer, <laughs> you probably don't need to spin yarn. You do it because you love it. And it's fun to make stuff and kind of feel like you're somewhat off the grid while I talk on my iPhone and have the TV going. I'm somewhat off the grid. Maybe not. Okay. but um, So there you go. This is how I'm making this non-typical boucle, typical method, but not typical materials. Generally, a boucle is a single thread, and then wrapped around that is a single of mohair, and then plied back around that is another single thread, so that essentially the only thing giving weight to the yarn the typical boucle yarn is the loops of mohair. That is one look. This is another look. This is um, this is a loopy cormo fun 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 yarn. I hope this is coming out. You know, I can never tell if my screen's blurry because I'm 57 and don't have great eyesight or if it's blurry because for some reason my phone isn't focusing. I'll watch it back on YouTube and say, oh dear.
It wasn't my eyes this time. All right, there you go. That was fun. Hey, I hope this works for you. Hi. Oh, look at I have straight hair. I don't have straight hair, but I have straight hair today because I needed a trim really bad, have a bunch of split ends. I normally do it myself. Today I decided to treat myself and have it done, and she said she needed to straighten it to cut it. So <laughs> it's very different. Very, very different for me. Okay, bye-bye.